roads have been a lot better today. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Monday. Just rolling down Home State Pass, coming into View, Montana. It's about 7.20 local time. 6.20, I'm sorry, my bad.
see that bad? Oh, it is open. Sweet. Love it. Love it. Love it. some funny news I'll get back to you guys a little bit later <laughs> it's about my dogs it's hilarious mama just told me some information that I want to share with you guys I think it's hilarious doing everybody guess what look at where we're at like we always are we are sitting here in Lind we're done we are setting up camp getting ready to brew coffee well <clears throat> not brew it but get it ready for brewing um, what I wanted to share earlier is tank our new little dapple chocolate dapple uh doxy well he's been refusing to eat the last couple of days and a backstory is 
my wife being okay let me go way back everybody knows i'm a carnivore now so i eat steak hamburger you know beef sorry i'm setting up camp as as i'm trying to talk kill two birds with one stone as they would say and uh So I had her feeding the boys some ground, you know, not expensive, but cheap uh, ground buffalo or beefalo. And so, well, she had gone back to dog food and cause it took a little while for their stomachs to get used to eating the, the beef. And she was giving them too much so the poor little tykes were getting diarrhea <laughs> so she stopped well tank our little chocolate dapple was like hey um what's up so he's been progressively since she's brought him off the meat refusing the dog food She'd add a little warm water to it, blah, 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 a little moist food with it, blah, blah, blah. He's a stubborn tyke. If anybody knows anything about dachshunds, they're very well known to being very stubborn. They're, they're hard to housebreak if you, can, if you can ever housebreak them. And, but they're, very, they're a very stubborn brain dog. Well, they're German, so... I'm German, so I can say that it's not a hate thing, um, and I'm pretty—I can get pretty stubborn. So we were talking about it today because he—he's flat out refused to eat for the last couple of days. So we, we talked it over. She set up an appointment to go see the vet, and as we were talking, I go, "Well, you know, I'm one, or just kind of kicking it around." So she went ahead and browned up three pounds of hamburger and lo and behold that little turd ate his food she put a little bit of dog food with it and he ate well the second food second round today for lunch she puts it on a plate like pyrex plate or whatever so the meat will cool down and stuff so she put the meat and dog food in they have like these stainless bowls they're smaller ones but and he refused to eat again so now he has upped his game to wanting to eat his food on a plate not the stainless bowl anymore <laughs> yeah dachshunds i love our boys mama wanted me to share that with you guys i just thought that was funny so now they're which that doesn't hurt my feelers none because being on the carnivore it's way better for them than now they're not strict carnivore they they still get their dog food um it's not like we're feeding them eggs or anything like that they're just getting ground uh, but uh, beef low they can't do beef their beef doesn't agree with their stomach they end up they, they it doesn't stay down on them so we found that they can eat the buffalo and I think it's because of the fat count in beef versus the buffalo the buffalo has got less fat so but anyway just thought I'd share that with you I thought that was kind of funny so on that my friends as I'm talking about their food I'm gonna get mine ready we're having a steak and eggs again steak and eggs and uh, yeah so I just thought I'd share that little story of my little Benny or uh, my, my little my little tank sir I'll I'll leave a, a, a photo of him in the in the end um, actually all three of them love my baby boys they're worth every penny on that, God bless. Love you guys, Lord willing. There is no Seattle. I'm not going there to pick up nothing. So we'll be doing just Vancouver. 
all goes well tomorrow afternoon, tomorrow evening, we'll be either somewhere in, depending on how heavy I am, um, either in Wallace, Idaho, next to the creek, or we'll be at the casino in Montana. One of the two. I'm kind of hoping for the casino just because it's further and they're they're already shagging the bushes to see if they can find me a, another load so when we get back we'll end up getting back on Thursday and try to find me another load so we can make up for not getting Seattle this week. Alright everyone on that God bless happy carnivore if you are it's working just took my blood pressure. I was 123 over 79. And I think an 81 heart rate. We're in there. It's all good. Not too bad after a pot of coffee. Just saying. Love you guys. Lord willing, I'll see you all tomorrow.